Bonjour beauties and welcome back to my channel Bonjour In. So I have a super super special video for y'all today and it's like a video that's actually been in super high demand and like people a video that act, people actually want to see and have been requesting me to film and it is going to be drum roll please ba -da 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 -bum. It's going to be my skincare regimen video. I've been wanting to film this video for quite some time now, but I just like haven't found the right time and I've been kind of swapping out some products here and there and testing them out to see what works better. And I didn't want to produce anything or create anything until like I was like, okay, this skincare routine is really working for me and so I can then share it with all of y'all. And plus I've been sick for the past like week and a half and like coughing and like all phlegmy and gross and I was like that would be just super annoying to film in in that condition. And now and you know today it's just like the weather's beautiful, I'm feeling so much better and I just came back from a shoot so I have like all this makeup on my face and I like just want to take it off. And you know I also thought this would be a great opportunity to show all of y'all like the full extent of my like skincare evening routine um, including with like makeup takeoff and um, yeah so let's get like started <laughs> okay actually before we get started I do just want to say you know an important factor and maintaining my skin is well a couple factors is drinking uh, good amount of water. Um, I try to drink like two of these a day at least, which I don't know if that's enough actually. Um, but I constantly have to pee and I don't know the exact measurements of this, but yeah, I try to drink two amounts of this a day at least. And then like of course to eat clean and to like get a good night's rest, which you know I struggle with the last one a lot because I do get insomnia a lot, which is like super annoying. And like my mind runs a bit crazy at night and like I always create these insane scenarios that I'm just like get lost in and like end up spiraling in the middle of the night and then get really sad and depressed. Such is life. But who doesn't do that, you know? Yeah, so those are three really important things to keep in mind. First, let's take off this makeup because it feels so heavy on my skin and I just like feel like my skin is suffocating and like I hate that feeling, especially because I'm not used to it. Also, shout out to Alex who did my hair for this shoot today. Uh, it's like giving me like 70s glam fantasy, you know? I'm really trying to take that into like spring summer 2020 for myself. I think it'll be so fab. <clears throat> Uh, so I still, my throat is still a little like... Okay, so first step is makeup takeoff. And what I usually use for that is coconut oil. Which I just get at Whole Foods. So it's like really clean and like no like preservatives. Oh, this is actually from Trader Joe's, I'm sorry. But you can get it from Whole Foods too. So now that the hair's tied back, I just like get some cotton pads or cotton balls is fine too. Um, I've been, I got this like value pack from like Target for like the basic ones for like three for like five dollars or something. I was trying to be frugal and honestly, I totally regret it. Don't do it y'all. This is so rough on your skin. It's like sandpaper. I'm just like so broke and whatever. I'm like, I have to use it and I don't want to put them to waste. So I'm just like being very gentle with it, you know? But invest in the premium ones if you get your cotton pads from Target um, or wherever. I heard the Move ones from Muji are really nice and soft. Um, but yeah, so what I do is I just get a Q-tip and just like get clumps of some coconut oil and just like put it on the pad or ball, whatever. I don't really like to use makeup remover or makeup wipes just because I feel like it's extra chemicals and stuff on the skin that you just like don't really want and need, um, but yeah. And you know, an important thing about the hydration, it's like 
It's important to drink water throughout the day and not just like a lot at one time. Like that's not good because the water's just gonna drain through your body and you're just gonna pee it all out within like 20 minutes. And like that's kind of like, you just, it doesn't really, yeah. Your body's not staying hydrated. And you are what you eat. Like when I eat like pepperoni pizza or something as delicious as it is, as it is, it like breaks out my skin and I'm just like, ugh, I can't do it. It's not worth it. Beauty or pepperoni pizza? Obviously beauty. Duh. Okay, so I'm trying to do this on my photo booth. The FBI might be looking at me right now. And so I just wipe it all over. Ew, that is so gross. Although I will say Alex did an amazing job at doing a no makeup makeup look. Oh, I always have to remind myself, swipe up, swipe up. And then once it's like all over the skin, I just kind of like let it sit a little bit just so it kind of starts to dissolve all the makeup. I'm gonna, probably gonna fast forward this part because this is really boring. I really hate that I can't listen to music while I do this. It's just like silence. I personally think I look better with less makeup. Okay, now that a lot of the makeup is off, I'm gonna go wash my face now. BRB. So just washed my face and when I dry, pat, do not drag your beautiful face because we don't want to create or enable premature sagging. Who wants that? Not me, honey. Okay, so for my cleansers, they're pretty straightforward. I don't really use anything fancy. On heavier days, I just use a CeraVe hydrating cleanser. And on lighter days where it's just like super easy, casual, like where I'm not wearing that much makeup, I like to use Peach Rivco Gentle Cleanser, which was gifted to me actually um, a couple months ago. And uh, thank you so much for sending it to me. And it's super like soft, gentle, and it's actually like quite moisturizing as well, which is really great. But I'm pretty sure this is a bit like bougier than CeraVe, um, but I do recommend it if you just want to look for a gentle cleanser and it smells really nice and soothing too. So that's my cleanser sitch. And now onto the full routine. So the first things first is I use Soko Glam's Beauty Water. And usually I would just like put it in my hands like a little bit and just like pat 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 but because today I had all that makeup on I'm gonna put it on a pad because this also it removes makeup as well while lightly exfoliating moisturizing and toning your skin and this is really really amazing seriously like a freaking goddess send um, I was using that like Aquel Aquel like licorice like, ugh. I was using that like Aquel like licorice um, toner before for a couple months and it just wasn't doing enough. I don't know, like it wasn't really moisturizing or toning my skin and as this one does. So I went back to this one and my skin I feel like just has like improved so much more and it really, really does like it really preps my skin for the products that come after and it really helps my skin absorb those products even more and better than the last toner I was using. So I highly suggest Soko Glam's Beauty Water. It's a little bit pricey but honestly it's worth it and it's a pretty large quant quantity and it's like a quality product. You know, don't forget to like swipe up on your neck because the skin on your neck and your face and your chest is the same so you want to take care of it as well and yeah always swipe up but but see like look at all that extra makeup it's like picking up so because this is happening I'm gonna do like one more <clears throat> Ugh, makeup is so troublesome but yeah I try to do very light
but yeah okay I feel like we're in a good place now so we just let that sit and soak in a little bit while that's happening drink some water <sighs> hydration <clears throat> beauty's number one source so I'm just gonna pat it in a little bit tap tap under my eyes a bit warm up my face a little bit just to help prep it to absorb the product <clears throat> so since I don't really wear that much makeup I really like to invest more in my skin or spend more time with my skin and get good products for it and let it breathe as often as possible I, but I feel like when you have like good skin you don't really have to wear as much makeup and don't have to use as many products which is great because that saves you money in the end because makeup is expensive honey okay so for step number two I use this eye cream from Ellen Celia which I which is shown in my um, unboxing video and this has been really great and I don't use that much and it's been lasting me a really, really long time. And it's like collagen, nutrition, anti-wrinkle, energizing. And you know, ever since I've started using this, I have noticed like puffiness and like, like lines under my eyes have been like radically reduced and I've noticed a big difference. So I'm like, okay, yes, this is working and this is not super expensive either. And so I literally just take this like little amount and I just like rub it between my ring fingers and then I just dab under my eye, just like that. And then I carry a little bit up around here and then with any other access, I put on my smile lines. And honestly, ever since I started doing this, I've noticed a reduction in my smile lines as well. So it looks more supple and youthful, you know? There's nothing wrong with aging, but I want to look as young as long as possible, let's be real. Because I plan on being hot until I'm like on my deathbed. So, and Asian don't raise in, honey. Okay, so that's that. And then next, is pretty much like my last step. Yeah, it's that simple. Next is my moisturizer from uh, Etude House and it's like a, a collagen moisturizer as well. And it's honestly, it's so, sounds so dumb, but it's so moisturizing and like it really, really makes my skin feel super supple and like healthy and youthful and like it help and it gives me like this like dewy glow which is like really nice and so I just like take a little bit like kind of like this amount and then what I do is I take my vitamin C serum from Course X uh, Cosser X however you say it and um, you know to hydrate and brighten and illuminate my face and skin and just to make it you know just to even out the tonage. And I don't really like to put the vitamin C serum directly on my skin because I feel like it's a little bit too harsh. So what I usually do is I, I do like two droplets into my moisturizer and then I mix it and that way it's a little bit more diluted but I still get the effects of the vitamin C serum. And so then I just like, you know, apply it to my face very gently. And then while the moisturizer is on and my skin is slippery, I like to give it a little massage. And so I use my knuckles and I go like this along my jawline and then I work my way up my like cheeks. And then I go like this under my eyes and I just like kind of press it like one finger at a time. <laughs> what if that looks weird? And I go like that. And then I take like these four knuckles here. And I just like rub my forehead up. And you just do it like two or three times. Just like that. 
do a pat just so my skin absorbs the product <laughs> and then I hold it just to warm it up and that's it easy right <laughs> I almost, almost forgot. So the last, the very, very last thing I do is like I moisturize my lips. And I always do this like when I'm sleeping. So when I wake up in the morning, my lips are nice and plush and kissful for no one. Um, but I honestly just like to use Vaseline. <laughs> I just like take a little swipe. Uh, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now that's it, it. Honestly, like I don't really like to use that many products because I feel like if you're overpacking your skin with too much like product, it's gonna react in strange ways and like that's actually happened to me in the past. Like I would get like these weird bumps. So I reduced it a little bit to, to be as minimal as possible but like as effective as well and efficient. And like hitting our key areas that I felt that my skin needed. Um, so I think that's really important as well, like know what your skin needs so you can really tackle those areas and like lightly hitting the others because I don't know, just everything in moderation and, and yeah, everything I use is like pretty much pretty affordable and it's like all under a hundred dollars and when you break it down like with the usage and like how long it lasts, it's pretty, it's a pretty good deal. It's a good investment in your skin without like breaking too much bank. If y'all have any questions or like have any products that y'all are really loving and enjoying, please feel free to like give me your suggestions or ideas or thoughts below. I'd love to hear. And don't forget to drink water, stay hydrated, get some good sleep, eat well and live your best life, take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next video. Au revoir.